figure out the number of pages in a block. This is typically a multiple of some number, um, 86, 128, 192, 256, and 512 are common numbers. In TLC memory, 86 and 192 are common. In MLC, uh, 128, 256, and 512 are common. And this example over here, this is from a NAND data sheet. Um, the NAND chip uses 16 kilobyte pages. Um, over here it says the, uh, there are 512 pages per block. So multiply 16 kilobytes by 512 gives you eight megabytes. So this NAND chip over here has a block size of eight megabytes. As in Flash Extractor, we're going to use the hotkeys to create a virtual window. So let's say over here, this is the block organization in memory. We're gonna create a window and then scroll that window up or down until we get that window dead center with the block number. So that if we were to go up one sector, we'd see block number one. And if we went down one sector, we'd see block number three. Okay, so in Flash Extractor, this is the jump by address. This is the search bar. This is the address box. This is the hex editor over here. This is um, how Flash Extractor is parsing the spare area. This is the spare area. This is telling you that the ECC is okay. It's not an update block. And this is the block number right here. Let's scroll to a random part of the memory chip. If we press Control Home, what it does is divide um, the address over here by the value over here and uh, gets rid of the remainder. So you could think of it like pressing control home will bring you to the start of a block that is this size. All right, control page down jumps down by the amount in the jump by address box. Uh, control page up does the exact opposite. So it jumps up by the amount in the jump box. Uh, control down arrow divides the address in the jump box by two. Control up arrow multiplies it by two. Okay, so we're gonna assume that this is MLC memory, which usually has a page size of either 128 pages per block, 256 pages per block, or 512 pages per block. Um, in this case, what we're gonna do is set the block size over here to um, 128 pages per block, which is four in hexadecimal. We get that by multiplying 128 by the page size, which is 16 kilobytes. We can find the page size from NAND reader's configuration file. One of the hotkeys in Flash Extractor is control up and control down, which will do the same math for you. It'll multiply the value or divide the value by two. So if we press control page down, the block number over here does not change. If we multiply it again by two, uh, over here and then do control page down the block number does not change so we do control page up and then we multiply the block size again by two and then we press control page down still hasn't changed so control page up and then we multiply the block size again by two over here and then we do control page down and it has changed to block da from block C4. So now what we need to do is uh, recenter it. So we press Control Home, and it still says block C4, which is good. So we press Page Up, not Control Page Up, Page Up, and we see that the block has changed. It's an empty block, but it's changed. So now we do what we do is press Control Page Down, and block has changed. If we go up by one sector, it's block C4. So that tells us that the block size is 16 megabytes.